This video will help people use the Career Growth Initiative Calculator as they implement the Career Growth Initiative into their business. The objective is, is of this video is to show you how to log in to the calculator, how to enter your goals, and then how to update your listing appointments in the Career Growth Initiative dashboard. A note about the Career Growth Initiative, it was developed for agents it utilizes four conversations. Each conversation has a corresponding tool, and the conversations and the tools are designed for an agent to grow and achieve a higher level of profit faster than without the Career Growth Initiative. Uh, another note is that the Career, Growth in, the Career Growth Initiative calculator is based on the economic model from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent Manual. If you've not done an economic model for yourself, or if you're unsure if the economic model that you've run before uh, is right for you and your business, I highly recommend that you consult with the Millionaire Real Estate Agent Manual or go on to KW Connect and do some research on the economic model. Because every time you uh, want to log in to the Career Growth Initiative Calculator, you will need a daily class code. Uh, so it can be a little frustrating to constantly need the code to log in uh, because 24 hours passed and you think you want to tweak with your goals a little bit more. The career growth calculator is really there meant to you know, be a recording of your economic model math rather than be the interface that you use to do the math. Uh, certainly if you have a plan and you're ready to implement it, you're ready to just plug your numbers in, uh, then go straight to the calculator. If you've not used it before, I highly recommend that you go to either a Career Growth Initiative workshop, uh, go to uh, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent Manual in the Economic Model section, or go on to KW Connect and learn more about the economic model. So let's log in. First, we want to go to cgi.kw.com. That's cgi.kw.com. All right. Now for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to log out again and I'm going to log in here and then it's going to show great. Now this is a dashboard of tools, the career growth initiative. I'm going to click on that and then here we are. This is the dashboard. If you have set up your goal uh, either in 2016 uh, or you've recently set up your goal, you will go straight to this dashboard. If you have not set up a goal, this will be blank and it will ask you to add your class code. So the leadership team and the MCA has the ability to generate a class code. Uh, this helps facilitate a conversation on implementation because your MCA is here to help you implement the Career Growth Initiative, and that's our accountability to helping each agent uh, achieve more. So your MCA department can give you a daily class code. These codes do expire on a 24-hour basis. So uh, please email the MCA department, go to a career growth initiative workshop uh, to get a class code. All the more reason to have your goals uh, already figured out from running an economic model before you enter them into the calculator. Okay, so we wanna set the goal. So this is the goal page. This is where the calculator is on the right. And then on the left are explanations of the calculations for each area. So we're going to start with the calculator. Now I'm going to set a goal for $100,000. Okay. And now the first field is the tax percentage. Now, if you do not have a clear, if you do not have clarity on this percentage, uh, if you already don't have a bookkeeper or a CPA, if you've not uh, done your taxes before as an independent contractor, or if you're unfamiliar with 1099 uh, Schedule C income, I recommend that you just keep this number at 40%. If you do know what this number is, feel free to plug it in. Also, of course, be thoughtful uh, about uh, how your tax rate may change based on your profit goal. Once again, if you do not know how those changes would occur, simply use 40%. If you want to know, then simply connect with your CPA or a bookkeeper, and that person should very easily be able to give you an effective tax rate based on your profit goal. 
every associate in Keller Williams contributes to the royalty cap, and that's $3,000. Company dollar cap, now this depends on the market center that you're in, and of course, under what cap terms you are in. So to find out what your particular company dollar cap is, uh, please connect with the MCA department. Uh, if uh, you are an individual agent, uh, and not meaning not on a team, and uh, you are in the Manhattan Market Center or Midtown Market Center, KWMYC, uh, your cap is $50,000. And so that is the number that we're going to use for today's demo. Monthly expenses. Now, monthly expenses can vary greatly depending on what level your business is at. This demo assumes that a person is at the very beginning of their business. Uh, should you have a more advanced business, I would expect that you would already have an idea of what your monthly expenses are. You would have a profit and loss statement from your bookkeeper uh, or some idea of what monthly expenses will be as your business grows. So please put in the appropriate monthly expenses for the, your current level of business. If you are brand new, I generally recommend that you keep this number somewhere between $2,000 and $2,500 as it will help you not just handle your expenses in the short term, but it will also create an expense fund or a business account, a business reserve fund, if you will, so that you can continue your growth without having uh, too many hiccups uh, in your profit. So monthly expenses, we're going to set it at $2,500. Also, there's a field here for additional means. If you are working part-time, or if you have a salary, or if you happen to have a draw uh, from a team or another business, uh, this is something that you'd want to factor in. This demo assumes that this, that this particular person, uh, real estate is their only source of income. So if you were to select salary, it's simply going to ask you to enter that number, or a draw, you'd enter that number as well. For today's demo, we're going to assume that uh, real estate commission is the only means of revenue for this particular agent's business. Uh, commission percentage. So commission percentage also comes from the MC department. Uh, this would be an average of all the commissions that come in to our market center. We notice uh, a number of about 2.75% of all of the different commission percentages that come in. Uh, please connect with the MC department if you are not in the Midtown Market Center to find out what your commission percentage would be. Uh, average home price. Now, the truth is this should really say median or mode home price, uh, meaning that we are going to use the price range where the majority of uh, transactions are happening, not necessarily uh, the average. In a market like Manhattan, we happen to have apartments that are priced at, say, 80 to $100 million, and that certainly is going to act upon the whole sample. Uh, even though the median price is much, much lower than that. So we want, or the average price is much, much, or well, the median is lower. So you do want to avoid average home price when you are entering in this number. You want to look at the median or rather the mode uh, price pricing in the area. So you can use urbandigs.com if you're in the Manhattan market uh, or olr.com or simply consult with your uh, local MLS for what that number would be. So for our for this demo today, we're going to assume a million dollars. Of course, if you you have a business that also works in a different price point, and you are confident that the uh, number of trades in that price point can bear out your goals, then certainly use that price point as well. Seller focus. This assumes that the particular person will have some level of focus on listing property because the two first conversations of the career growth initiative are on listing appointments and listings taken because it is your high leverage maximum earning uh, opportunity in real estate we would encourage every single uh, person to have some level of seller focus in their career growth uh, initiative of course that also goes back to listing appointments which is really the only thing that can be tracked by the user uh, because the MCA department tracks everything else and closes on a monthly basis, the only appointments that the user would be tracking uh, are listing appointments. If your business is mostly buyers or mostly tenants, you could simply set this to zero and just take your GCI goal and go. I would recommend that you do implement the first two conversations of the Career Growth Initiative in your business. That would be listing appointments and listings taken. So let's assume that this particular business is going to start at a 50% focus on sellers. 
Of course, if your focus is much higher, adjust the number accordingly. Now, conversion rate from listings taken to listings closed. Uh, our market, we have a listings or pending sales to closing rate of about 90% because due diligence occurs before contracts are fully executed. Uh, in other markets, uh, if your attorney review stage is after a contract signing, that may uh, generate a different uh, pendings to closings number. The point that I'm bring the reason I'm bringing this up is that this particular co conversion rate is two numbers. It's the listings taken to contracts pending, and then from contracts pending that are listings to listings closed. So in our market, we have a 90% listings uh, pending or contracts pending to listings closed ratio. And then we typically see for well-priced uh, listings with motivated sellers, about a 75% listings taken to listings pending. So when we uh, figure out the 75% of the 90%, we get 67.5. If I just confused you big time, don't worry about it. Please go back to the economic model and do the math. Uh, and then you will see that this number is 67.5 if you're using 90% uh, contracts to, to the closing table and 75% listings taken to contracts signed. The last number is our listing appointments to listings taken. Now this demo assumes that this particular person is new to uh, real estate in Manhattan. They're light, they're light on their network. They may not even have a pipeline of people that have already told them that they're thinking about selling. Uh, they haven't listed property before. Uh, basically, they're at the very, very beginning of having a seller focus in their business. Sh should you already have a seller focus in your business, if you already have a pipeline, and if you already have a, a, a network of people that own property in Manhattan or in your target network uh, um, area, uh, I would uh, at least start at, say, 50%. Um, of course, if you know your conversion rate, simply plug it in. So now that we have all of our numbers in, we're simply going to click Submit. And you'll get a, a update here on that your goal has been updated. Uh, now I'm going to go through the left-hand side to show you how each conversation um, arrives at its number. So the first, the fourth conversation, we're going to go backwards actually, the fourth conversation is profit. So our tax rate, right, was 40%. So our tax burden is $66,666, which is 40% of $100,000. Or rather, that would account for a 40% tax rate, uh, I should say. Next is cost of sales. Cost of sales is the money that you spend to acquire your income. So that would be your, sp your split with the brokerage, your cap level, uh, your royalty cap level. And then, of course, if you are uh, paying for leads, meaning that you are paying referral fees, uh, if you are uh, sharing commission with other agents, uh, that would also be taken into account. It's not taken into account in this calculator. This calculator only looks at your royalty cap and company dollar cap. If you'd like to learn more about uh, how to calculate cost of sales, simply go to the budget model in the Millionaire Real Estate Agent Manual. Now we move down to expenses. Expenses, uh, notice we calculated on a monthly basis. This will also tell you your annual expenses, which for this person would be $30,000. And your expenses should be no more than 30% of your total gross. And this, this particular person uh, does not have more than 30% of their gross in expenses. So total gross commission income was calculated simply by taking the profit goal, adding the estimated taxes of 66000 the estimate, the cost of sales of fifty-three thousand, because of their royalty cap and local market center cap, uh, and then their total annual expenses of thirty thousand dollars, and we ended up with two hundred and forty-nine thousand six hundred and sixty-seven in GCI for the year, or twenty thousand eight hundred and six dollars uh, GCI goal each month. It's really important to note that an annual GCI goal is is mostly irrelevant to uh, implementing the career growth initiative because the career growth initiative uh, allocates or settles its books balances its books so to speak 
uh, as the Market Center does, which is on a monthly basis. I highly recommend that you adjust your business accordingly and do a monthly reconciliation. Um, and this GCI monthly goal would be your target for uh, for net rep for gross revenue each month. So that was the fourth conversation. The second, the third conversation is closings. So notice here that our because of the price point and the commission rate per side, we have nine closings uh, for per year. Uh, now this is accounting for sides, so nine sides. So if you were to represent both sides, you would count it as two rather than one in the career growth initiative. So uh, this is going to account for the number of closings or the number of sales units that we will need uh, for the uh, to to hit our profit goal. And once again, it gives us the monthly uh, number, which is 0.8. And we'll get we'll get to, when we get to the uh, the the bottom line of the CGI calculator, I'll explain why this number changes. So looking at the second conversation, now we're moving into a listings focus. The second conversation is on listings taken. So we set our listings focus to 50 or seller focus to 50%, uh, which literally took our closing goal and, uh, and calculated 50% of it. So we'll need in order to ch achieve 4.5 closed listings this year, um, with our conversion rate of listings taken to listings closed of 67%, then we'll need to take 6.7 listings for this year, uh, which comes out to 0.6 listings per month. Um, the first conversation is listing appointments. So listing appointments, given our uh, conversion rate of 25%, once again, if you have a different conversion rate on listing appointments to listings taken, uh, this number will be different for this particular person. They chose a conversion rate of 25% because they were new to the market, did not have a pipeline, do not have a network, uh, and uh, do, do not have a closing or listings uh, taken history or track record, so they selected 25%. So to achieve 6.7 listings taken per uh, year, uh, they this person would need to go on 26.9 or 27 listing appointments this year which comes out to 2.2 listing appointments per month. Now the final summary, and these are the goals that you'd want to write down, are a recap of your monthly goals. Because the Career Growth Initiative mirrors uh, the Market Center financial pace, uh, it will uh, look at the monthly as the indicator of growth rather than the quarterly or the annual uh, as its primary metric or measurement or interval for measuring growth. So this particular person, you'll notice that there are no uh, decimal points anymore because the calculator uh, rounds up. So three listing appointments per month up from 2.2, uh, one listing taken per month up from 0.6, and then one closing per month up from point, that was yet yeah, 0.8. So once again, our GCI goal per month has stayed the same. I will say uh, one thing about the listing appointments per month. Uh, this is just a general note. Uh, it, research has shown that if you or if the person has less than eight appointments per month, or rather I should say two appointments per week, eight or nine appointments per month, uh, then and, and that person is new to uh, developing a, a listing inventory and new to uh, working with sellers, they may not generate enough activity to actually accomplish their goals. A person that falls below a goal of two appointments per week, uh, they may delay their uh, success uh, much longer uh, than what is, what is seen. So uh, if you are getting less than nine listing appointments per month uh, or two listing appointments per week, I would encourage you to reevaluate your goals uh, because there might not be enough activity on the weekly basis for uh, for you to see the return in a level of time that will keep you interested. Okay, now the last thing we want to do is we want to look at the dashboard. So I'm going to go to my dashboard. Okay. 
So if you were to log out of the calculator and log back in, this is the dashboard that you would go back to. You would need another class code if you wanted to reset your goal. So uh, if you'll notice, the, our, all of our bottom lines on the monthly recap are reflected in these, uh, these different fields. So the first conversation is listing appointments, and this is where you would add your listing appointments. So as you go on a listing appointment each month, this is where you would tally up your, um, your results. This is also the only area that the user uh, enters information into. The MCA department and the market center systems populate the second conversation, which is listings taken automatically. It also populates the closing information and the uh, GCI or gross revenue number automatically on a monthly basis. So regardless if you've entered numbers or not, you may see that you have a, uh, a, a dollar amount already in the preceding month, uh, a number of closings already, and maybe another listings taken. What this means is that the market center is generating uh, language of real estate or uh, closing data on you just because it's closing its books as well. So of course this is an indicator to get into the conversation and implement the career growth initiative in your own business and start participating by setting your goals in the calculator and then adding listing appointments uh, on a daily, weekly, uh, and monthly basis. Although I would recommend uh, not waiting longer than a week to update your CGI production tracker. Of course, over the course of uh, 12 months, you'll see trends. Uh, this also will be reflected in your multi-year trend report. Uh, for those of you that are looking to implement the CGI, uh, the Career Growth Initiative, at a higher level, I highly recommend that you go to kwconnect.com and click on the Growth tab uh, to go, or the Career Growth Initiative tab, to go to the different career growth tools. The tools, the four tools that correspond to each conversation are simply conversation one listing appointments is the pipeline. If you want to have systematic listing appointments, predictable listing appointments, uh, predictable listing opportunities so you don't have to hunt for business every single day, you want to build out a pipeline. Uh, listings taken is the listings needed tool. Uh, so once you are operational and you are taking listings, that tool will help you calculate how many listings you'll need at all times on the market, as well as uh, whether or not you're on target for your goals from a listing inventory stance standpoint. Uh, the tool that goes with closings is the agent lore, uh, particularly the local expert tool. Because you're closing, uh, you are now generating data, and that data is creating a story around your business that you can now compare to the market center and to the agencies in your uh, local market, what we would call your board. Um, this will show growth, this will show validity, and it will show a vitality to your business that may influence people to hire you at a, high, at a faster rate uh, as your data comes in. And then finally, the uh, fourth conversation on profit, the tool that corresponds with that is the daily GCI tool to see uh, your results on a daily basis in terms of income. So with those four tools and those four conversations, uh, you will be fast on the way of implementing the Career Growth Initiative. And of course, uh, a recap on some of the uh, addresses mentioned and, uh, and uh, model points. Uh, CGI.KW.com is the address that you want to go to. You see that up here uh, to go straight to the CGI calculator. KWConnect.com. Uh, log into that and go to the Career Growth Initiative page or tab to take you to the page. And there you'll find the tools and videos and guidance on how to implement the four conversations into your business. Uh, and then finally, uh, I do recommend that before you uh, go into the calculator that you consult the economic model from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent Manual uh, and run the numbers a few times. Uh, that way uh, you won't have to keep logging into the calculator and keep getting a new code because something new came up and you want to run your numbers again. Uh, this calculator is really meant more for a annual recording at max a quarterly recording or, or um, 
uh, quarterly exercise so that you uh, can implement those goals for at least 90 days. I trust that this video helped you understand more about the Career Growth Initiative. It helped you understand how to use the Career Growth Initiative calculator and that you are now uh, ready or already well on your way to a higher level of business and a faster pace of growth because you are leveraging the Career Growth Initiative in your business.